Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to complete the key concept section using our histogram here for the our different populations of forest beetles that have changed from 300 generations ago to today. So for each task in the next one, two, three, four, five sets, we are gonna be looking to drag and drop um, our vocab words here to create a key concept. So um, when we look at key concept one and we drag our words, we know that a new trait will become more common in a population if it is adaptive. If that was our answer, we would be able to check our answer by going to the help button and seeing if the key concepts that we just created is correct. But once we realize that it is correct, we got to decide how can we use the key concept to explain what we see in the beetle histogram. So when I look at this, I have to look for a new trait that will become common in a population if it is adaptive. So when I look at this here, I see that we have a number of forest beetles on the left side. We have armor thickness underneath here to uh, for each of the different variations. And I see an environment with no predators. And then after 300 generations of time passing, I see that praying mantises showed up and that all we have left are our high armor thickness. So when I look at this, I have to first decide, is there a new trait? Well, I don't have any tens in the first histogram, and now I have tens. So that's a new trait. And we got to look at whether or not it became common in the population. Well, it became very common. In fact, it became the most common in our population. And we have to also decide, well, is that because it's adaptive? And the answer is yes. That armor thickness probably helped it survive the praying mantis. So if I'm looking to answer this question, I probably would say something like, when looking at the histogram, you will see the key concept when we notice a new trait, number 10, shows up as adaptive to survive the predators. So this new trait shows up. It's the adaptive trait. And what makes it adaptive in the population? Well, it can survive those praying mantis. So that's how we use our histogram and our key concept to answer the questions along with our help button. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. Otherwise, good luck with the rest.